Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today we're going to have a death match, a head-to-head -head competition between the Droid Bionic, the Samsung Galaxy, and the brand new Motorola Droid 4. We're going to run the Quadrant uh, benchmark, the full benchmark on all of these devices. Uh, most of you guys have heard by now that Quadrant has been updated to support dual-core processors and I'm going to go ahead and get these started real quick. Dual-core processors and they've also uh, now support ice cream sandwich. So we'll go ahead and get these started. My predictions are that the Motorola Droid 4 will come out on top and the Galaxy Nexus obviously is going to finish first. The Bionic is going to lag behind uh, but it'll have a decent score in the end. So let's go ahead and watch as uh, the benchmarks play out. This is real time, head to head. So in the left corner the, is the Motorola Droid Bionic. It's running a 1.0 gigahertz a uh, dual core processor, one of the very first dual core processors on the market and it's also running the stock 5.9.905 Android from Motorola. In the middle you have the Ga Samsung Galaxy Nexus running a 1.2 gigahertz dual core process, the first ever phone in the USA to be running Ice Cream Sandwich and to the right is the Motorola Droid 4 and of course that came out just a couple days ago it's also running a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor uh, so as I had assumed the Galaxy Nexus looks to be in the lead it's almost to graphics processing while the Bionic given the advantage uh, with a head start is still processing CPU Droid 4 also still processing CPU but they'll get there um, earlier today, I tested out the Galaxy Nexus. I had been getting some pretty botched results before the Quadrant update. I was getting about 1,400 on average with my Galaxy Nexus. Uh, but since the update, it's been getting roughly you know, 1,800, 1,900 on the scores. Looks like it's going to have a pretty good score here. Yep, now that it actually supports dual-core processors, we're going to get some accurate scores. Uh, well, 1,430, so looks can be deceiving. But like I said earlier, today I got a 1,700, an 1,800, and a 1,900 on the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, but for this demonstration, of course it doesn't want to cooperate. I'm getting a 1,430 on the Galaxy Nexus. That may be bottom of the barrel. I really think the Bionic can do better. In fact, I'm going to run this again while we wait because I know that Bionic is going to take forever. I know it's cheating, right? I just can't live with myself saying that the Galaxy Nexus is the slowest phone. Alright, so now our Motorola Droid 4 is finally processing 3D graphics and they look nice and smooth. So we'll see what the final score is on it. Should be somewhere close to 2000. This thing's really uh, been performing well for me the past week. No rendering distortions on the moon here. And we'll go ahead and submit that score. So the Motorola 4 ends up at 2,142, which is very impressive for stock gingerbread on this brand new device. I can't wait to see it get ice cream sandwich. This thing's going to be screaming. Uh, those dual core processors are really amazing in that Motorola Droid 4. So the Bionic is finally processing 3D graphics. So its score should be coming up very quickly and uh, looks to be processing those graphics very nicely and the Galaxy Nexus is gonna lap the Bionic it looks like maybe it won't catch up so no rendering defects in the moon around the planet on the Bionic and it is almost finished go ahead and submit our score and we end up with 1,773. Not bad for the Motorola Droid Bionic. These Motorola phones are very well built. They're very solid, very sturdy phones. Okay, so now we'll submit. And we got a 1,481 on the Galaxy Nexus. Hmm. It is running the Leak 4.0.4. Don't know if that has something to do with it. That's not the official build for the Galaxy Nexus. Maybe it would have done better on a 4.0.1. But anyhow, that's where it stands. Galaxy Nexus is dead last. Oh my gosh, write it in the papers. 
and the Bionic follows not very far behind with 1,773. The Motorola Droid 4 is the victor in first place. It receives the crown. It gets the lap around the track. This thing is running awesome at 2,142 total score. Guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Maybe we can do some more videos like this in the future with tablets or whatever. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, head over to droidmonerx.com for all the latest in news, ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Android device. Follow me on Twitter at droidmonerx with an E, not a 3. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.